Hey guys and dolls, today I'm going to read one of my favorite books. This is a book I had when I was a little girl, and I remember my mama reading it to me. The name of it is Nurse Nancy, and I thought because of this book I had to be a nurse when I grew up. I didn't. Nancy liked to play with dolls. She liked to play mother. She liked to play teacher. But best of all, she liked to play nurse. She had a fine doll hospital, complete with lots of bandages and handy candy pills. But she had no one to play with her. Her brothers called Nurse Nancy as they raced past her door. But they never had time to stop and play. They were always too busy with big boy games. Mother stopped in at the hospital sometimes. One day she had a hurt finger. Down from her shelf, Nurse Nancy took a brand new box and she put on Mother's finger a red heart-shaped plastic bandage. Another day, Nancy heard a great commotion out in the backyard. It didn't sound just like a lively baseball game. It sounded like trouble and it was. The boy's ball had hit a bee's nest, and angry bees were pouring out. Look out, Tom shouted. Here they come. And the three boys came racing toward the house with the angry bees close behind. Nancy ran and held the door open while the boys came piling in. Then she slammed it shut on the bees. <sighs> Panted the boys. We're safe. But Tom was not safe. He had fallen. Nancy was a nurse, so Nancy knew what to do. First, she took a good look at the wound. She got a clean cloth and a towel from the drawer. She dampened and soaped the cloth. Go and lie down, patient, she said. Tom did. She propped a pillow under his leg and with a clean towel over the top. Then she washed the cup very carefully. It's clean now, Nancy said. The damp cloth was nice and cool against the burning sting. Soon the hurt had stopped. How do you feel now? Nancy asked. Much better, said Tom, and he tried to smile. But when he looked at the ugly cut, he couldn't quite manage to smile. I can fix that, said Nancy. She opened her supply box and covered the cut with a brightly colored bandage. That new bandage looked so fresh and fine that even Tom could smile at it now. When Mother came home, the boys told her all about the cut and Nurse Nancy's good care while they had their lunch. I'm proud of you, dear, said Mother, and she gave Nancy a special hug and an extra cookie, too. After lunch, the boys hung around instead of hurrying back out to play. What do you say we play ambulance, Billy suggested. Oh, fine, said Nancy. They fixed up the wagon for an ambulance. Just then, ding-a-ling, came a telephone ring. Nurse Nancy answered, hospital. She said, there's been an accident. She heard a voice called down by the big tree. They all looked down there just in time to see Billy flopping down, moaning fine, big moans. I'll drive the ambulance, Tom cried. I'll be the doctor, cried Dan. Away they raced. Tom for the ambulance. Dr. Dan raced beside him with his doctor bag and Nurse Nancy proudly rode. When they reached the accident, Nurse Nancy put a bandage on Billy for first aid. Then the doctor and the ambulance man lifted him into the ambulance and back to the hospital they went. Billy had such a good time playing sick with pink and green candy pills that the others could hardly wait their turn. The telephone kept ringing with ambulance calls. Patients kept coming to the hospital wanting brand new bandages. Nurse Nancy was so busy she could scarcely think. Well, she said when supper time came to an end of her busy day, I'm certainly glad I'm a nurse. The end. Bye, guys and dolls.